How do you write an emotional scene? You know, I have a I have a seventeen year old, um, and we had a her. You know, we were. Uh, it's a, it, that's an interesting story in itself that I won't get too into. But she's, um, you know, uh, we didn't. Her mom and I didn't didn't go about. You know, having her the traditional way. It was she was a, a wonderful surprise. Um, and I think after, especially as she got older, I we've always been very close. We still are. Um, and she's my heartbeat. And I think as a father, it definitely feeds into, um, you know, again, it's like, you know, as a writer, your stories are your, your babies, your children, um, and you feel for them, you care for them, and you really, and I think, I think there was something about becoming a dad, especially at a young age, which I was, I was 26 when I became a dad, that um, really helps you understand and empathize with characters and and tell a story that's compelling. I again, I always am able to. I feel like um, you know take a take a step back and really delve into that. You know and. You know, we've all dealt. We've all dealt with loss. I mean, I lost my father at a fairly young age, um, uh, older than a lot of people, but still pretty young. Um, and he, um, you know, he was a a, a, um, a seminal figure in my life. Um, and I feel like the, you know, the, again, like the relationship that I had with him and with my daughter, and you know, um, again, having experienced great loss, great great love um it definitely i think having those relationships helps on a lot of levels especially when you're writing an emotional scene whatever it may be um you know it it was definitely with take back you know the fear of something like that happened to my daughter and drove it at the time she was um when i first started writing it she was uh eight and almost nine and you know, I read about girls as young as her age throughout the world, even in the United States, of being taken as or, or you know being sold off. And especially as she got older, and we got further along in the development of the script, and then it became made. It was definitely like, oh my God, you know, she's this could happen to her. And it, it so there was definitely some fear that that drove it for sure. And um, you know, I know, and it's like. Uh, how do you, it's also sort of like, how do you come back from that? How do you rebuild your life? Um, those were, those were definitely questions that I, you know, experienced throughout. And as a father, it, it definitely had a, had a huge impact. And I think we can always relate back to our, to our personal experiences and pull from that. I think you have to. And not everyone, unfortunately, you know, and, and, and fortunately, a lot of writers didn't have that type of you know, tragedy or anything that happened to him. And I certainly, you know, I've, you know, my dad didn't die in a, in a terribly tragic way, but um, you still feel the same emotion if you lose somebody you're close to. And if you can infuse that in your writing and use that, you definitely, um, again, it goes back to us really caring and giving a crap about your characters and your story. Do you miss your characters when you're done writing? Yeah, sometimes. I think if that's a great question. I think if you get really invested in that story, there's something about it too, because I've gone back to rewrite scripts for people over the years that I had written and they wanted to see a draft or I've been they've been development for a while and I'll put them aside and go do something else because you know that draft is where it is at the moment. But I always look forward to going back and reworking it. It's always good to see old friends again. <laughs> Seeing, uh, you know, and and you know, I've certainly gone back. I'm like, ugh, I'll cringe. What did I write? What did I do? Um, but yeah, no. I, there's definitely something when you're done with a script and you're, you know, you you put it aside or you're done in that moment. There's you've you've kind of got to let it go. It gets easier as you re as you write more and you can breathe and 
you know, I've never been one of those people who's so wrapped up in his world and and the characters. And that worked for some, and I don't want to, but I've never, I've been able to, and I know that sounds bad. I, I didn't, some people live and they're in their character's world, and that's wonderful. I didn't mean to, you know, dilute that experience for them or, or anything. Um, uh, but for me, you know, it's like, I've I'm I'm invested when I'm writing, and then I'm I am at the end of the day able to pull myself away. Of course, I think about story and where you know when I'm not there. But I think once I'm done, and you know, yeah, I, I, if you've spent a long time on them and you're done, you you do miss it a little bit. You miss that story a little bit. Um, but then again, you always have in your back of your head. Well, I may need to go back in to again make it better, refine it. So I'll be back. You know, <laughs> I'll see you in a little while. You know, take some time, have a beer and a cigarette, and I'll 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 get you on down the line. You know, and um, so yeah. <laughs>